Welcome to the channel everybody, my name is Ryan and today we are playing RimWorld and this is the Toxic Waster series. Here we are looking at our man Snuff. He is the leader of the colony, he is married to Emma, there she is, I think she's yeah, mining right now. Trying to find us some steel, we're really short on steel, but of course the colony comprise, is comprised of just all wasters. We have extreme bigotry here with our uh, ideology, which means we don't tolerate other beliefs, but in addition to that, we also don't tolerate other xenotypes. So we can only go with the toxic, well, that's actually our ideology. We can only go with the waster germline, basically. Now we can manipulate that, but uh, that's gonna be farther in the future because we are a tribal start. So we don't even have electricity yet. <laughs> um, anyway, somebody commented, a couple people commented about the darkness mod that I had the realistic darkness mod installed, um, that it was hard to see, you know, that it didn't really work so well. So I went ahead and uninstalled that. Uh, we still have the fog of war. That, that one I would definitely wanna keep on. Uh, I want to experience the game with a fog of war aspect to it for sure. Now the realistic darkness was kind of just for, you know, atmosphere, uh, because we also have like the cosmic horrors mod installed and stuff, but you know, there are still some dark areas because it's, it's, you can't see it from the fog of war and it's in shadow like this area here. So, you know, hopefully during raids and stuff, that won't be too much of an issue because the fog of war will be opened out here at least so we can see, but, uh, as it stands, I also got another comment recommending um, maybe some slight changes to the schedule here. Because we've got, like I said, a tribal star, two of our people, Snuff and Hiroshi. They're able to come out here and pray. And if you look, we actually have a retexture pack for anima tree. This is a toxic anima tree. But we've got nine grass in progress. And, as I said, that's all due to our two guys here. Um, Emma, fortunately, has a, not the right background. But uh, Snuff and Hiroshi, I think in order to reduce some of the walk time, here's what I'm going to do, because it is kind of cutting into the work that they can do. Hiroshi, we're just going to set him to one session of the meditation. So he'll just recreate back in the colony, which isn't really far but like I said, you know, early on when there's no good path to it and they've got a lot of other work to do because the whole colony rests on these, these three people's shoulders, it's a good adjustment, I think. Now, in addition, I was also thinking Snuff is a quick sleeper. I gave him the quick sleeper trait. So what we can do probably with Snuff in order to kind of compensate for losing out on those two hours with Hiroshi, we can cut into uh, Snuff's rest time a little bit. And I'm almost tempted to do that twice. Yeah, let's try that. I mean, we can always adjust it back. If I if I don't like it, you know, we can always change it. So, last episode we got ourselves a transport pod crash. But as I mentioned, if they're not a waster, we're not going to try and recruit them. So, instead of wasting all the time, because it's literally all the way out here in the corner. So, I'm a little nervous about sending my people out here. But we are cannibals. And we're out of meat. So we could definitely use some meat here. We Now, we are not totally out of food. Actually, that's a lie. I do have some pigs. We did go out there and get some pigs. So I'm nervous, but I think it's probably safe to send somebody out to go grab it. I guess Snuff... Yeah, let's get Hiroshi. He's just sleeping. Let's go ahead and have him haul this bad boy in for us. Because, like I say, we got to make use of this one here. Now the question is, I think what I'll do is I'll strip him here and then leave the clothing on the ground and then have him haul him. That's probably the best thing, so we don't have to worry about the clothing. All right, well, you know what? I actually changed my mind. I did bring the corpse down here with its clothing on, and I decided the reason is because I don't want the wealth just spread out across the map. If I can help it, I will burn this stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this stockpile right here so that no tainted apparel is left in it. And instead, we'll put it out here. What I'll do is I'll set up a little stockpile zone kind of tucked away in, this, in the uh, where there's no woodland or grass nearby. And what we can do is clear this completely. Let's bump that up to preferred. Then I'm going to go into apparel, click that on, and turn off clean apparel. So we're only going to bring out the tainted stuff to this. And I'll probably have to increase the size as the raids get bigger and bigger and whatnot. But uh, then we can either let it just deteriorate away naturally. Or if we get our hands on some fire, some uh, Molotov cocktails, we can burn it. 
All right, well, they are demanding a roll be fulfilled, so let's get the... Oh, look, nice and sparkly. Hey, we're out here with the baby alpaca, too. Awesome. So that's been born. That's actually good to know, because I want to butcher up these one of the alpacas. Um, Should I wait around till it gets pregnant again, you think? That's not a bad idea. All right, so I didn't plan on having the, any animals except the rats, at least initially, but... Mm, I don't know. We do have a little bit of meat on hand at the moment, so I don't want to overwhelm us. We'll just hold off on butchering. But there we go. So we do have ourselves uh, a new role. I think I should go ahead and get Snuff yeah, set up as the leader, too. There's no reason not to, you know? Let's see. Waster Supreme. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. As long as I'm doing the right person here. Let's see. Did we give it... Yep, she's a talk spreader. Okay, there we go. So we'll go with this one. Luckily, these don't take very long early on because I can go up to four levels of speed and blaze right through it. There we go. Awesome. Well, we've got ourselves another transport pod crash, but um, this person's not a waster, but they are a member of a faction we're neutral with. Whoops. Yeah, the Intusia League or whatever. So I think we will go ahead and actually rescue them, heal them up, and get a little bit of influence for it. They're pretty old, bad back and stuff. They do die in 20 hours, so we need to get something set up. But if I just do a quick and dirty sleeping spot right here, set that for medical, we will be set. Okay, well, this didn't take long at all. <laughs> He's up and rock walking now, albeit very, very slowly. He's at a 31% movement, yikes. But uh, as soon as he gets off the edge of the map, should be good for about 12 to 15 faction influence. So. We're on our way to some allies. Well, thanks to some of the drop pods we've gotten, we have built a human leather bedroll for the two lovers there. And I am very much hoping that she gets pregnant because, I mean, that might be seriously one of the few ways we can really populate this colony is just through marriage and stuff. But, um, you know, of course, we'll get occasional wasters to recruit. Now, um, on a different subject, I have got to be really cautious about wealth here. Because, I mean, this is a losing is fun run. It's not 500% scale difficulty, but I've still, like I say, we got to be cautious. So I am going to go ahead and I think we'll butcher up the two adults and leave the child till it grows up. So that will reduce wealth slightly, you know. There's no guarantee that we will succeed in this series for sure, especially early on, you know. you got to be extremely careful, play it smart. All right, let's go ahead and force her to do that one too. And, you know, like I said, it could end after two or three episodes. Well, not two, <laughs> considering this is the third episode, but you get what I'm saying. Well, I still don't have any steel yet to get my door complete or our research benches. I'm going to have to literally force them to come out here and get this one. Although it's so far away, I was trying to avoid it. But uh, we can put in some security measures. So I've set these traps up here to just whenever they get tripped, we're not going to rearm those. But these will be our permanent trap line down here against the walls. I find that's one of the better effective strategies. Also, I think I want to get some of these stumps out of here because we will need a little bit more wood if we're going to start working on a constant uh, flow of traps here. All right, well, they have just about finished this little hallway and uh, no steel still. So I think I'm going to have them cut out this area here. Um, I'm doing this as a kitchen. I really need to move the uh, food production because people are getting sick here from uh, <laughs> too dirty of a room. So I'm going to set it up here in this little area. And if, they, if she doesn't find any steel in that time, I'm going to have to force her to come out here and cut this out. Okay, well, I decided not to wait here. We've we've gone far too long without getting the research up and running. And in fact, I'm going to switch this out. We're not going for soil reclamation. I've changed my mind. Drug production would be really, really good, but hmm, let me think about it. Agriculture, we could get ourselves completely self-sufficient in terms of meat if we started growing the uh, red lentils. And remember, in the, in the jungle here, we've got a year-round growth cycle, too. So, I don't know. That's a tough call here. Let's see. Also, more advanced weapons wouldn't be bad, either. Clothing is big. We started with the stone cutting, so that's nice. Man, so many good options here. Let's see. What's going to help us stay alive the most? Probably drug production. I mean, to be honest, since we're dependent on, uh, 
you know, Sekai for our very lives. Let's see, how's she doing? Okay, she's holding up okay. I just wanted her to finish this. Oh, please get it all. Oh, almost, almost. We're going to have to make one extra trip out here to grab that, but that's okay. And like I said, we've got a second stone cutter's table coming now and two simple workbenches. Or research benches, I should say. Well, taking a look at the progress here on the anima tree, we're at 12 pieces of grass with our new schedule. We were at nine when I switched the schedule over, so they are still making progress. It's not going backwards, so I'm, I'm at least happy with that. And we've got ourselves a new attack. Threat points, 90 used, but uh, we won't be able to see where they're at, where they're attacking from, what animals it is. Wait, does it tell me? Man hunting cats. Yes, it does tell me the type of animal, but... With our walls up, the uh, at least we've got some safety, so I'm not super worried about it, but we will have to, uh, I mean, I guess, yeah, let's get a little target practice, I'd say. Maybe we can spare some of our traps, too, from getting hit if we get up here and maybe take out some of these cats. Oh, no, there's a rat out there. Oh, rats are venerated in this colony. According to our ideology, they're an extremely holy type of animal. And even wild ones, I think they'll get upset. So we got to watch out for that. Okay, here come the filthy felines. Get them. Don't let them attack the rat out there. Of course, they'll leave the rat alone. Oh, well, one of them just triggered a trap. Let's see. I'm actually more worried about our people accidentally hitting the rat. Oh, there you go. Nice shot. Was that Emma? Good shot, Emma. She's good. She's getting up there. Snuff's decent. Her Hiroshi is our best fighter. Yeah, but uh, good job, everybody. You took out the cats and did not kill the rat. Oh, well, will you take a look at that? No sooner did uh, she finish digging on the other side of the world over here than we discover a little bit of compact steel right in our own backyard. Okay, I've, I've had this kind of thing before from Randy right here. He's trying to trick us. Check this out. So we've got ourselves a new quest, Battle for Hire, expires in six days. Chief wants us to help him save one of his caravans, so he wants to direct a raid at us of one scavenger thrasher. Simple. We can easily handle this. But look at the rewards he gives us down here, because I did change preferences, so... We're not accepting honor or goodwill, just reward straight up. And the third one he offers is Prestige Cataphract Armor Masterwork Level. Value, 5,900 silver. So what's he trying to do to me? He's trying to get me to accept this level, which is going to skyrocket my wealth right there. That's like a whole pawn. Maybe two pawns worth of wealth. And all for one set of cataphract armor. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's good armor. But he's trying to get me killed so he can send a raid at me. That'll be like, you know, 11,000 threat points or something. <laughs> so I'm just going to take the Glitter World Medicine in the silver. And we will accept the quest because I like doing quests. Especially when they're easy like that. But um, we're not falling for it, Randy. Oh, well, it's a little bit hard to see over here because it is in the fog of war and it's nighttime, so I apologize for visibility, but I'm going to mark this spot here on the map because we got an ambrosia sprout just popped up. Now, that's another one of those early game temptations when you're on a super high hard difficulty like this. You probably want to avoid uh, going out there and harvesting that right away, but at some point in the future, if we get a trader, for instance, who has like a psychic shock lance or something that I really, really want, we can go harvest that really quick and then trade it to them just for, you know, a disposable item or whatever, basically. Ooh, ooh, hold on. Don't mine out the compact machinery, Emma. We don't need it. So I'm just going to leave, you know, again, avoiding high wealth. I'm going to leave this kind of stuff because we don't need this right now. It is good to have it, but um, we'll just have some strange column of uh, compact machinery in the middle of our kitchen for a couple of years. Okay, so we just got another raid pretty quickly after the last one. Look at the name, though. Gas Band. Check that out. Oh, we can't see them. <laughs> I knew that. Okay, so I'm a little bit curious, though. The Gas Band, is that a waster faction by chance? Oh, if it is, I'm going to be so excited. Let's see who Gas Band. Waster Pirates, baby. Yes. All right, now they're obviously hostile, so we've got to try and take this person over. I'm going to get these ordered up just in anticipation of a new visitor. All right. Well, we just got the notification that the wasters are on the way. I suspect it's only one because of the threat points 
issued. Let's see here. I'll show you the message. Uh, 72. Yeah, that sounds like it's just one to me, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. The real task is going to be trying to k down it without killing it. Oh, man, that's the, that's the tricky part. I'm almost tempted not even to shoot at it and just hope that um, they trip one of our things and don't kill themselves. We'll see. Let's speed it up till they get here. Oh, okay, okay. Hold on. We got one. Okay, it's melee. Fizz, Barsk, Bio. I don't want to get too attached. Female, 35, capable of firefighting. Traits, Night Owl. That's okay. Oh, how hot is it outside? Oh, yeah, it's pretty warm. Um, okay, how is her health? I mean, she's fine. Man, oh, man, I want this colonist. Look at, oh, look at her medical. Oh. <gasps> And she's melee. Okay, stop. I got to stop getting attached to her. She could be dead in two seconds. So here's what I'm going to do is... I wish I had my walls built here. You can see I've got some barricade walls built here. This is basically to protect my colonists or to stop them from shooting. Oh, she went right for the dang door. All right, let's get our people up there then. Um, Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let's get the snuff up here with just the pila. I don't know if that's going to be the best option, but I feel like... We got another, oh, it's another gas band raid, too. We'll take it. And they're attacking immediately. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, let's just get them all up here. <gasps> What's her health? 18 hours. I'm nervous. Uh, mm. All right, let's just get them to chill out. Don't, 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 don't shoot her. Okay, we can't really see what she's doing, though. This is tricky. You know what I can do is I can have one of them just drop the weapon. Let's not do Hiroshi. He's our best shooter. So let's just have Snuff drop his Pila. He's going to be our little scout right now. Just have him stand right here just so we can see. I would like it if she just kind of fell out, you know, all of a sudden. But at this level, let's look at this door. 56%. Man, that's risky. At this level, see, if we hit her, she'll probably move. And she might walk right into this trap. Although that cat corpse there might prevent that. Let's see. Am I, can you not shoot there? Oh, there's a wall right here. Let's move her over here. Come on. Come on. Just just wing him. Just a wing. Come over here and grab your weapon, bud. Oh, damn it. She killed him. Well, we get a second chance here with Rusty. So, let's take a quick peek. Oh, quick sleeper. I like the looks of you, Rusty. All right. Come on now. Let's not kill this one. Remember, this door is still... Oh, this door is still not fixed. He is he ranged? Oh, my God. He's got a weapon. He's got a firearm. Get back, people. Get back. Yeah, that's kind of frightening. Um, do not want anybody to get one shot at Emma. Step back behind cover. Oh, my God. He's got a shotgun. <gasps> she just took a massive hit. 22 hours. Right lung... No. Oh, right lung destroyed, bro. Yuck. Hold on. What's his health at? Oh. <gasps> I can see him just before he disappears. Look at that. Hit that damn trap, bro. No? Okay. Okay. Uh, I am super tempted to just let him stand there and fall out. He's going to get through that door, though. Ooh, this is super risky here, guys. All right, Emma. I actually want you to heal yourself real quick. Where's... Uh, I don't have my medical tab, so I don't even know how to set her to self dead. There it is. Okay. For the love of God, get that taken care of, woman. All right. Tend to yourself. No, not without medicine. Can she not do it? Huh. Tend without medicine. Oh, she's already tending to herself. That's why. Duh. All right. We're good. We're good. Now, he just broke through. Oh, look. Where's he going? Retreating. Why? Maybe because of his health. He's legitimately about to fall out. Let's let him move a few steps. Then we're going to we're gonna track him. Because we've got better range. Oh, what's he doing? <gasps> I thought he would go more for the wooden column. But he's obviously... They're not interested in that, are they? That's okay. I don't know. Not really... Peek around. Oh, there he is. Okay, get behind the... Do not kill him. I don't even really want him to fire, but... Oh, look, he's going to get shot at. Damn it, Rusty. We want to be your friend, Rusty. Don't you like us? 
He's like, I don't love you filthy savages. All right, Hiroshi, get back. God, Hiroshi, you got the longest range. Okay, what's his health at? It's a little game of cat and mouse here. Oh my god, this is this is annoying. Okay, Hiroshi just put another arrow in him. <laughs> Look at this a third rate of gas, man. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, it's the same raid points, too. This is hilarious. All right, so... We got a third chance at another waster, but I haven't given up on Rusty yet. In fact, let's see. How's Snuff holding up? He's okay. Roshi's fine. How you doing? Did she heal herself? Yes. Damn, that lung got destroyed. Man, that is... That's going to be tough. Okay. Okay, we have done it. Look at this. Rusty hit a trap and did not get himself killed. You know what that means? We can capture him real quick while the other group... Yes. Um... Hiroshi, I want you to come grab this shotgun. Actually, hold on, Hiroshi. Let me see here. Wooden bow. You better drop that inside the compound real quick. Now I want you to grab that shotgun. Whew, what's the percentage on it? 52. Eh. I do have mending, uh, a mending mod installed, but it's electricity dependent, so we probably won't be able to repair that shotgun for a while. But that's okay. Guys, we've got ourselves a new potential colonist, as long as they don't die. So let's monitor snuff very closely. Um... Or, I'm sorry, not Snuff. Let's monitor Rusty very closely. Snuff is our second best doctor, so he's going to be helping here. Look, it's four hours. Whew. He's got a stab scar on the brain. Oh, my God. you got to be kidding me. Seven of ten. That's not bad. He's still going to be able to work and stuff, but, I mean, he's not even really much of a worker anyway, is he? I can stick him on the research bench. Imagine a guy with a brain injury researching for us. Oh, good. Okay, well, Snuff has done it. He has saved Rusty's life. I've got Rusty set up to get some psychite tea here. Because, um, obviously, he's going to need that, too, to survive. That's good. And we've got him set to convert, then recruit. I mean, he's not the best pawn, but Quick Sleeper is a great trade, actually. I mean, he's a warrior. What more can I say? And he's got a brain scar. <laughs> but he's, he's going to be one of us, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Okay, well, Emma is injured. Hiroshi's got a shotgun, and Snuff's going to grab that other bow. And the other gas bag is on the way. Gas band. The other gas bander is on our way. Let's see what this person is. Hopefully it's a female within breeding age, because we're going to force them to marry Hiroshi. No, I'm kidding. But we are going to hope, fingers crossed. Oh, how she looks kind of old. 48. Mm. Yeah, you know, miracles can happen. Let's see here. Oh, she's a very decent pawn, though. Look at that planting. That would be so huge. I like this pawn. Yep, no health issues. Okay, she's melee. Yeah. All right, let's give her a chance to hit some of the uh, traps real quick. Let's see. It's a good thing about the wooden traps is they do often just injure. But they go right for that damn door, don't they? Hmm. That's actually not good for us. I really should get this front one. Oh, crap. There's two of them. Oh, I didn't even consider. Another good pawn, especially for our colony with the mining ideology and his ability. All right, let's put him over here. Oh, uh, come on. See those? Mm, they're not hitting the traps. Damn it. These are actual solid walls, not embrasures. So that's why this door is so critical. I really messed up. I should have got that... Uh, replaced right away but let's see oh mm, damn well that's what happens when you get shot in the back by a shotgun okay son just got pegged she's not dead but that will oh i thought that would help force her to move you know oh crap she just broke down the doors okay i need to um reevaluate the way that i i anticipate these pawns and their ai Simply because with this Fog of War mod, I believe it also changes the combat AI too. So they are appearing to be a lot smarter than normal. They're not as predictable at least. So at least that's something. Definitely increasing the... Oh, yes! We did it, son. You have a beautiful name. You're a beautiful girl. We are going to rescue you, even though you're ugly. I, I don't care. In my heart, I love you. All right, well, one of those raids was from our quest. That's why we got so many of them, but that was still very lucky that it happened to be a waster a raid. I mean, super lucky that we got two out of the three as well, just downed. So Snuff is about to save Sun's life here, hopefully. 
Uh, yep, yep, yep. I'm going to go ahead and set her to convert them, recruit. God, I hope they're not unwaveringly loyal. Okay, neither of them are. Good, good, good. Uh, yeah, so that is huge, guys. We just got ourselves another potential colonist. Of course, there's still the chance that these guys could, like, get into a prison break and we end up killing them or something. So we got to be very careful about that. But we do have some Glitter World Medicine, which has now just become a huge insurance policy for us. Very, very nice. That stuff saves lives, especially out here in the jungle where we get all kinds of crazy diseases. You know how that is. Um, as you can see, I did force the door built immediately. And in fact, I think I'm just going to go ahead and force... She's going to rest, but she's she's about to build this door here, too. <laughs> and let's get these corpses. Let's get all this good stuff picked up, man. That was that was a huge couple of raids right there because it gave us another body. Now we got two of those and two potential... I can't get over it. I know. You guys already know, but I just can't stop talking about it. It's great. I'm looking forward to the future here. And I hope you guys are, too. So hit that like and subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the series so far. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. And now check out this fan art by a couple of my Discord members, Finn and Vita. It's pretty good. And I love the cuttlefish.